I never thought I'd be that guy wearing a wearing a ponytail. But <laughs> okay, listen. In this video, have you ever had that client come in that has so much going on that you just don't know what to do with it? So in this video, I'm going to do some block coloring for fall. Um, I love this tone that we end up getting in this video or the result that I got. Um, so I'd love you to watch it all the way to the end. But um, yeah, let's just jump into it and I'll break it down for you. As I was saying, if you've ever had that client come in that has so much going on, this is what I like to do. I like to do block coloring. So before we even show you the colors, let's break down the sectioning that we started with. My very first section was a horseshoe section right across the top of the head. And then I just clipped that out of the way. Then I start with my triangle section on the side. I take it right behind the ear and then I'll clip that out of the way and start working my way around the head. So there's my first triangle section. My second one is right behind it. You're gonna do block coloring. I always advise you to section it off before you even start on your client. So you can see here, as I'm working my way around, I take my next section right to the occipital bone. And in the back, I leave it all out down the bottom because I want that whole section the same as the top section, which we'll break down for you. The fringe area, I don't take it straight across. I take it slightly diagonal back to leave it a little bit heavier on one side. So the colors we're gonna be using is the Paul Mitchell The Color with 10 volume clear. 4RO, the 4R, and the 5WC. Remember, these are full colors. So the color we're gonna be starting with is the 4R in that horseshoe section right on top of the head. Now I've mixed the 4R with the 10 volume because I just want to deposit the color only. And I want to get some variation on the top. I know it's going to be a solid tone, but because of what is going on underneath, we're still going to see a little bit of variation. I'm not going to fill it before I actually apply the color. But you always want to apply a nice amount of color to completely cover the hair, or completely saturate the hair. What I do when I do block coloring, I actually apply all the same color to all the places I want to apply it before I move on to another color. So now in the underneath section, I'm going to be doing that same color, that 4R. So I don't mix multiple bowls up, I mix one bowl at a time so that color doesn't sit there and deoxidize. So all I'm doing is applying the 4R in the back, the same as I did in the horseshoe section on the top. moving on to our second color which is the 4RO and we're putting that in the fringe area and also every second section around the sides so I'm just going to start applying that directly and making sure that it's completely saturated so whenever I'm working with multiple colors I'm always keeping a towel next to me and wiping my hands before moving on to the next section. Now when I'm applying the color, I am going right up to that other color that I've applied to make sure it blends well and we get complete coverage. When I say complete coverage, I know there's a lot going on on this hair already and I didn't pre-fill it. So I know in the block coloring there's gonna be some slight variation within the color. But I just go through and I completely saturate the hair and make sure we blend it into the section on either side of it. So now we're moving on to our last color, which is the 5WC. And we're doing that on the crown and the front because we want to see that variation. Processing time for this color is 35 minutes. One thing I always do is wipe around the hairline on a client, especially to make sure we don't leave the color on their skin. 
So once the colours are in stuff, we're going to dry it with my own serum. It's got the macadamia seed oil in it, so I just put two pumps in my hand and uh, completely run it through the hair before I blow dry it out. Once I've got the serum completely through the hair, I'm going to dry it just with a vent brush and then smooth it out with a flat iron. But we're going to speed up the process just so you can see the end result. This is the end result. Look, I absolutely love the way this turned out. I thought the color turned out amazing. You can see the variation in it. I think it's a nice fall tone. We've got that block variation of the color is exactly what we're looking for. And within the block, we have a slight variation because of what was underneath. And I couldn't be more happy with the end result. I hope you've really enjoyed this video and you've got something out of it. As I'm turning it right here, you can see that variation of that 5WC just peeking through there just a little bit. It's a beautiful full tone. And we've got that 4RO color sitting right next to it to complement the 4R which is on top of it. It turned out just amazing. I absolutely love it. Thank you so much for watching this video, but I'd love to hear from you guys. If you've done this technique before, leave it in the comments down below. Let me know what you think. If you've made it this far of the video, you might as well go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Don't forget to hit that like button and hit that bell notification so you know when I upload.